So now in this video, we're going to put bright light on uh, three series LEDs again, but this time they're going to be white LEDs. And then we have a capacitor to store the charge. So now this will produce some electricity, but it's hardly any electricity. So we need an amplifier and it takes a little while for the capacitor to charge. But there you can see we got about nine milliamps of current, which uh, with our setup uh, should be the uh, maximum that uh, we're going to get. So you can see I bump up the power supply voltage, the current goes up. Now this is uh, so easy to a discharge I can use my hand right there. Enough current went through my hand you could see it sped up how fast it discharged. So we need a pretty powerful amplifier. So we have two NPN bipolar junction transistors wired as a Darlington pair. That makes their gain multiply with each other. So you get a lot more gain than just one transistor alone. So now just like the uh, last two videos, I made a diagram and uh, this part's exactly the same. I just copied it. But uh, now we're using white LEDs instead of red LEDs. The long lead, the anode up there, and uh, shortly the cathode below it. That's for all three of them. When you shine light on them, they actually produce a voltage and a tiny bit of current. So it was so little, it took this about half of a microfarad capacitor a while to charge up to get enough voltage to start turning on that circuitry so it's very weak but it is uh, usable as we saw in this video and now we got the transistor circuitry so we got the base there and these are uh, 2 n 3904s flat side to the right collector base emitter and when a tiny bit of current goes from base to emitter that lets a lot more current go collector uh, to emitter when you have a load that is uh, between the emitter and ground that voltage builds up across that load but uh, we didn't have enough gain the transistor couldn't provide a big enough multiple by itself to uh, light the LED so we got a second transistor so we'll have more current a lot more current than that uh, base current going from base to emitter there allowing even more current so the gain actually multiplies let's just say each one of these has a gain at 200 it'll be 200 times 200 so like 40,000 uh, gain right there it should be now because we got very little current coming from there now we have that uh, voltage across here but there's two diode drops so it's not quite uh, uh, 5 volts in this case we're getting an even higher voltage from the LEDs but they can't provide any current really so in any case we got the two diode drops and then the diode drop of the LED, we're losing about three volts approximately That when there's five volts. Putting about two volts across the uh, transistor there. So you saw that when I went to seven volts, now we had about four volts across the uh, resistor. We expect, you know, somewhere, it, I think it was showing like 17 milliamps. So somewhere around 18 milliamps we should have got from it, which it looks like we did. And so we'll come back and just make it a regular emitter follower as I showed in uh, videos before. So that's the uh, voltage follower for the uh, bipolar junction transistor emitter follower. There we go. As you can see, we got the uh, base there and then the emitter there to our load. We will uh, zoom back and you can see that uh, we got zero milliamps of current. I didn't test this out at seven volts, only five volts. But uh, there you can see, I've been holding it there for a while. Remember, it did take a little while for the capacitor to charge. We don't have any voltage going up. And uh, I don't know, I th the LED probably glowed a little bit, but uh, not enough to pick up with uh, this test. So in any case, this is the short video series. I'm going to put this back to 5 volts, so I know it's 5 volts next time. Uh, so hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.